Using prediction times, this is another double header card. We go through the usual thing where I really only talk a great deal about the fights that I care about and otherwise just give you a winner in a lot of the other ones. Uh, Marcus Brimage versus Jumbiki Turkson. I think I got that right. I don't think I ever have. Uh, Brimage decision. Luke Zagrich, Dan Kelly. Uh, Dan Kelly submission. Uh, Richie Vaculate, Luis Smoka. Luis Smoka by decision. Uh, Vic Gruchek versus Chris Clements. Ugh. Um, Gruchek by decision. Dylan Andrews versus Sam Alvey. I got Dylan Andrews by TKO. Anthony Pross versus Guido Inocente. Actually excited about this one. Really excited to see Guido Inocente fight in the UFC. He's been on contract for quite some time, and just injuries and injuries have constantly delayed it. Other than you know, finally getting a heavyweight bout with Derek Lewis, they lost by knockout. That was disappointing. Um, but he is a really good fighter, even though his only really notable ones, I guess, are Virgil Swigger and Vitor Miranda. So, not a great um, um, a resume in terms of results, but you see him bite, you see the obvious potential, you see the athleticism, and he will TKO Anthony Barash. Uh Jake Matthews versus Wagner Hosha. Got Wagner Hosha winning by submission. Jake Matthews, just not impressive. Um, Sal Palele, Walt Harris, I got. Sal play the way by TKO. <clears throat> Another relatively uninteresting fight. Um, interesting fight. Robert Whitaker versus Clint Hester. I'm going with Clint Hester to win by decision, mostly just due to the size. I think Whitaker moving up to middleweight, if this is a permanent thing, I think is a bad idea. I don't think he was particularly big at welterweight. Um, I mean, I remember watching his fights with uh, Colton Smith, Court McGee, Steve Wonderboy Thompson, even his most recent fight with Mike Rhodes, Brad Scott, certainly. I, all... Guys who were much bigger than him. Uh, I mean, the three and two record, I guess, spurned this, but just, I mean, and Smith went down to 155 and still looked relatively big compared to Whitaker. I, yeah, I just don't think this is a good fit. Um, and I don't think this is a good guy to capitalize on because, I mean, granted, Whitaker, very, very fast, very technical striker, very explosive striker. Clint Hester has all of that and the size to compete at, one, at 185. Ugh. Still like it. Ross Pearson, Ally Kenta. Interesting fight. But I got to go with Ross Pearson. Um, he's got great footwork. Uh, takedown defense is good enough that I think he he can get this done. I also lost a lot of faith in Iquinto when he lost to Mitch Clark, even though he was winning the fight up until the point of the submission. It was still disappointing. Um, he's a good wrestler. If he gets this ground, I think he can do okay. But I mean, Pearson's face guys who are I think kind of in this mold and has risen above them. Um, so look for that. Luke Rockhold, Michael Bisping. Um, I'm interested in just in the trash talk standpoint, but I think when it comes down to the fight, I think Luke Rockhold has all the tools to make this happen. I think that he has the wrestling game to put Bisping against the cage and on his back when needed. I think he has a striking game to beat him. I think when you look at it, he handily beat Tim Kennedy, who beat Michael Bisping, which MMA math is not a thing to indulge in. But when you look at the stylisticness of this, it's kind of similar. Um, so I got to go with Luke Rocco, probably by decision. Uh, on to the fight night Shogun versus St. Prue. Uh, Wagner Silva versus Colby Covington. Colby Covington to win by decision. Thomas Almeida, Tim Gorman. Tim Gorman by decision. Hate him, but respect the physical schools he brings. Leandro Silva versus Charlie Brenneman. Leandro Silva by submission. Diego Lima versus George Oliveira. Diego Lima. Cal Magales versus Trevor Smith. Cal Magales. Uh, Diego Rivas versus R Rodolfo Rubio. I don't know either of them very well, so I'm going to, have to go with a non pick. Juliana Lima versus Nina Ansaroff. I got Juliana Lima to win this one by. Probably decision. Claudio Silva versus Leon Edwards. Don't know Leon Edwards well at all, so no pick. Uh, Warley Alves versus Allen Jodan. Allen Jodan by TKO. He's not really not interested in this card. Um, Ian McCall versus John Lineker. Okay, interesting. On John Lineker's side, we have a very powerful puncher who has a hard time making the 125 pound limit. And I believe some time ago I said probably should be forced to move up to 135. Now he has made weight. Back-to-back -back fights against Ali Bagatinov and Alptek Oskilik. One on one of those fights. Really good fight with Oskilik. Pretty good solid fight against Bagatinov as well. But we're talking about a guy who missed weight in his fights with Phil Harris, Jose Maria Tomei, Luis Gaudino, 
Uh, so three missed fight weights in seven fights is not good. Um, that aside, though, he seems to have gotten his weight under control. He seems to have got that to the point where it's not affecting his fighting prowess. So that's good. Um, the only time he really lost a fight was to Bagatinov, as stated. He was in trouble a couple times against Oskillik, and actually uh, Jose Maria Tome actually had a decent showing against him as well. And, of course, the loss to Gadno, but if you remember that fight, he wrecked shop, um, largely. Um, still, I can't help but think that Ian McCall, who's had a really underwhelming showing in the OC, but really good fights, um, on a two-fight winning streak here, having beaten Brad Pickett and Alondra Santos, lost to Joe Benavidez, had the great series with Demetrius Johnson. Um, this is the guy who should be able to win this fight and maybe silence the Lineker calls for a title shot. Lineker's got really heavy hands, and that makes me think that he has a chance, obviously, to put anyone out in the division. But I still think his wrestling has some holes, and I think his ground game has some holes. And I think Ian McCall is the guy to take advantage of that. But if he can come out and he can paste Ian McCall and put him down quick out of it, even win a long-term decision, we're looking at a title shot. Anyways, uh, but McCall by submission. Mauricio Shogun, who over Zovin Say Pru. I was going to pick Shogun against Jimmy Manawa, which this fight was going to make it be. Manawa, great striking, great powerful, great athlete. But too many holes I thought Shogun could take advantage of. I don't think the case is here with Ovin St. Pru. Not the same level of power puncher, but a very similar level of athlete. A big guy at 205 who can probably play the clinch game against Shogun. Put him against Cage, take him down. That's the kind of thing we've seen Shogun have some problems with in the UFC and with the Cage in particular. Um, I think Ovin St. Pru's striking is good enough to survive on the feet, and I think he can put it down. It's, it's the boring result in a nutshell, but we've seen him, you know, uh, put a pretty good run together I mean, against Ryan Jimmo, which he won by injury, but still looked good in it. Nikki Krylock, Cody Donovan, Gian Valente, TJ Cook, etc. Had a good winning streak there, which was ended by Ryan Bader. Um, but Shogun's seen better days. Um, his health is waning, and like pretty much all the Pride guys, it's, it's I mean, we've been without Pride for, I don't think, over a decade now. And, uh, no, no, it's not over a decade. I'm gonna think it was like, let's see. I really should have this date like ingrained in the back of my head, to be honest. Pride, yeah, it's about seven years now. So, I mean, seven years after you were the top guy in the world, you know, you're bound to start falling back. It pays me to do so, but I'm making events say crew by TKO. But we'll see. Anyways. Unfortunately, as much as those last two fights are, are really nice, and Orly Alves versus Alan Judan, for the record, should be a good barmer. Um, there's not a lot of meaningful fights on either of these cards, which is a problem. Um, oversaturation in the MMA market and such. Save that rant for another day. Anyways, I enjoy what there is to fights. I mean, we are talking about technically two free fights. So, I mean, fight cards. So, uh, you know, enjoy them as best you can. I'm out.